Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. I am your host, the Web Gear Guy, and I would like to thank you for watching the Web Gear Review. Now today we're going to look at a knapsack pack configuration. Now with the M1941 uh, pack system, I believe there are nine different configurations listed in the uh, in the pack handbook and we're going to go over those pack configurations and videos as i show this equipment okay so what i would like to do here is uh let's get into one thing first before we get the video going as i told you i am basically an army collector so i don't have a whole lot of marine corps items but however the marine corps items i have i want to show you so in order to do so i have a united states army belt right here it is an m1936 belt which would be exactly like the same belt that the marine corps was using instead of uh, u.s stamped on it the marine corps marked theirs on the back side united states marine corps in initials okay this is not a marine corps first aid uh pouch okay nor is this a marine corps uh, canteen pouch, nor is this a Marine Corps uh, uh, HBT. However, it's what I have, and you'll get the general idea of what the knapsack pack configuration looks like. Okay? So, like I said, there are nine different configurations uh, to this. Uh, which configuration a Marine would carry would depend upon what the Marine was uh, doing and his needs at that time. The knapsack pack configuration is number six on the list. And this here, what you're looking at, is the knapsack configuration. Okay? Now, this type of, uh, the type of belt that they would rig up here would depend on what type of weapon they carried. If they carried a, a 45 pistol or a 30 carbine um, or a Thompson machine gun, they would probably be wearing a uh, M1936 type of belt uh, with pouches on it, okay? If they're carrying an, M19, uh, an M1 Garand, then they would probably be wearing an M1928 uh, cartridge belt, okay? So the belt would depend on what the mission was and what the Marine needed with his gear. Now, the components to make up the uh, the knapsack pack, you need the, uh, from the 782 gear, you would need the suspenders or the back breakers, the Marines like to call them. And then you're gonna need a knapsack, okay? This here is the first pattern knapsack that I've done a video on. See the, um, the metal riveted in uh, buckles there into the deal. Then you would need a belt. And this here is how it'd be worn, right here. Uh, the uses for this type and the reason for this type of system here is, is because uh, the knapsack could be worn in this configuration if this Marine needed to carry something else up on his shoulders, such as a radio backpack or something else that he had to utilize on his shoulders, then he could wear this configuration and still carry his what he needed into combat. All right. Or another reason for this configuration right here that you see would be for the purpose of a uh, an officer that... Uh, was not issued an officer's field bag. Instead, he would carry his knapsack like this instead of carrying the officer's field bag. So there were different reasons and purposes uh, to carry this uh, gear this way like this. Now, like I said, uh, this should give you a general idea of how this hooks up. The uh, straps right here would go down, hook right into the pistol belt right there. Same thing, come over. The uh, M1941 suspenders go right into the belt. They run up through the loops on the back side of the pack 
I'll show this in a uh, another little short video just demonstrating how to hook this rig up. But it's very simple. This is one of the most simple ones that configurations they have. Uh, but anyway, they do cross over. So the right would go to the left and the left would go to the right. Just like that. Okay. Uh, but anyway, this is the nap sack uh, pack configuration is what it is listed in the uh, United States Marine Corps M1941 manual. So I would like to thank you for watching. Uh, those who have not subscribed, I would uh, encourage you to subscribe if you like this kind of content and hit that bell button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, kind of content. And thanks for watching the Web Gear Review.